Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Chef PV here. Uh, Zero Ground FPV, all that stuff. Uh, check it out. We have a B Core, the Free Sky version of it. Um, yes, the B Core is essentially the same as a B Brain, um, except it is not actually the same firmware. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video was this is actually not a direct clone. Um, they did not completely rip the board because if they did, then you would actually be able to actually flash it with B-Brain firmware. You can't. And that's actually why I made this video is I just got mine. I knew nothing really about it. Um, it came in the mail, and so I went to go flash it, and I couldn't really see any firmware that would make sense other than the B-Brain. So I flashed it to the B-Brain. And it bricked it, um, essentially. Uh, I've since unbricked it and flashed it the right way with the right firmware. But it was a little difficult to really figure out what firmware you're supposed to flash to this. And again, this is a B core. Notice it says B core. Um, this is technically an e Sheen B core. It's from Banggood. Um, I got mine actually from Amazon, but it was still shipped from overseas. Uh, I just happened to place my order on Amazon because it popped up as a kind of an add-on for like 30 bucks to some other stuff I was buying. And so um, I ordered it. It took about six weeks to finally get here. Um, but that was because it wasn't released yet when I ordered also. So anywho, um, I found that it was actually supposed to be flashed with SP3 Evo firmware. So SP3 Evo firmware is what you're going to put on this. So real quick and easy, but... Before I do, I wanted to show you guys the boot pins because there are boot pins. Um, sorry, where are they? Okay, so the boot pins are actually in the center of the board right there. So let me find something to... Right there, you can see the word boot. So... I actually just quickly soldered them together with a t just a tad bit of uh, um, solder, and that was how I was able to unbrick it. But in order to f initially flash it, because it comes with Clean Flight 1.12 on it, you actually don't have to DFU it to get it into boot mode. So what we'll do is, oh, wrong cord. Um, we'll connect it. <clears throat> And we'll just simply jump over into Betaflight. And in Betaflight, we will go to Firmware Flasher. And this is where, again, you're going to choose SP3 Evo. Then choose 3.0 or 3.01. I'm going to use 3.0 just because that's the one that I use everywhere. Leave everything the same. Uh, load your firmware. And then flash. It should flash out the box without needing to be in DFU mode. If you need DFU mode, all you got to do is either touch those two pins on the boot with like tweezers at the same time or solder them together really quickly with no power attached and then uh, power it back up and it'll be DFU mode. So we now have SP3 Racing, as you can see, SP Evo uh, 3.0. It's on the board and it's reacting, doing its thing. Um, obviously, you'll then need to go set it up for actual brush. So you need to set it up for brush. You have to go do some CLI commands. I'm not going to make that video right now, though. Um, just wanted to show you guys how to get this thing um, flashed to Betaflight. So fly safe, fly smart. Have some fun. Tiny whoop it up, baby. Peace.